Hi. Um, I'm going to do another one that's kind of a hidden thing on Samsung, but I'm going to film this with my Note 8 and show you on my Note 20 Ultra. There is a difference. I'm going to start, though, with the camera uh, just to show you. So here we go. It's kind of hidden. So I've just got a manual here. So this could be any document. This part is really not what I'm t talking about so much. But it's a great feature on the newer phones running 3.1 and uh, Samsung One UI 11. So if it knows you have a document, notice that little yellow line, that square all around it. Now this does not show up on the Note 8 and the no older phones. But it's a great feature because exactly that's what I want. And I tap to scan. Uh, this is just a, a manual just to show you what I'm talking about. And now I can make it square if I want to be exact like that and I press save and you could even take out the text which of course is a new feature again in the newer phones um, so now if I go to the gallery notice it hasn't got any of the background it's done a fantastic job but it is a photograph now you can search and t uh, convert it to text and so on but what I'm talking about today again uh, this part works on any phone including the Note 8 which is very good so if you've got a photograph on the Note 8 or, which is a document all you've got to do then is press um, here the three dots at the bottom and press Believe it or not, press the word print, which doesn't make any sense, but you tap the word print. This is a real secret going on here. And now, save as a PDF. You could have it as a printer, but save as a PDF. And I press that, download it. It now saves it as a PDF if I press save under internal storage, and then you open it up with a PDF reader. Now, you could have done that using a PDF uh, scanner uh, other ways of doing it but this is so fast because again but if I just go to photographs just to show you if you started with any Samsung phone if I just go to photos just take the last one I just did go here print and save as PDF it's that fast it's a fantastic feature uh, and again just to make sure I'll get the whole screen in to show you that Again, just to show you the whole screen of the phone, the whole screen of the phone. That's it. So I go to photographs just to show you this. I'm going to go back one more time. I'll, just to show you so you get the whole screen so you can see exactly what's going on. And this works obviously with any of your old photographs. And there is another app called Stack, which I'll show you very briefly in a few seconds. But if I just go back to photos last photograph i took notice no background it's fantastic in that respect three dots print doesn't have the option there it should say convert to pdf but it doesn't press print save as pdf you have a choice it would find a print if i had one connected but i don't and then you press that and it would save it as a pdf very good very useful uh, please subscribe to the channel for more hints and tips like this and I will, whilst I got you, uh, Stack is a great new program from Google. It's still experimental. And here, uh, basically, you can actually take from the camera, you could actually have done it that way, where you do scan a PDF. And it doesn't give you that function the same as that. So you just got to get it in the square like so. Scan. Didn't do a good job and then crop and rate, rotate, etc. save, and it automatically saves it as a PDF. And once you, actually, I'll press save just for this purpose. And then you put it in one of these uh, folders, and it's easy to find. You've got all your PDFs in one go. Uh, it even takes the first two uh, words and puts it in here and so on and so on. I press done, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's a short one. And please subscribe, it really helps a lot.